What's up guys, Jared back. So Samsung has been pushing out Android 4.4.2 KitKat to a lot of different Samsung Galaxy S4 variants. Uh, now in this video, I'm gonna show you quickly how to manually update your Samsung Galaxy S4 to Android 4.4.2 KitKat. At the same time, through the same process, it's actually gonna show you how to unbrick your device or even just return to stock if that's what you want. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so first things first, what you need to do is come over to sammobile.com and create yourself an account if you haven't already. Uh, now I'll be posting a link in the description below this video uh, to sammobile.com in case you guys didn't feel like actually typing it into the address bar. Now once you come back to this site and you've logged in, uh, come over here to the top where it says firmware and go ahead and tap on firmware. Uh, once you get this page loaded up, Come on down here to where it says search devices. Now, there's gonna be lots of different types of Galaxy S4 variants out there. The one that I'm using right now is the i337M from Canada. Um, obviously yours might be from a different country, but I'm just using this because this is my device. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in i337M, and um, if we scroll down just a little bit, if it allows me to, you're gonna have to excuse my extremely slow computer here, um, as I use a Mac most of the time, but except for uh, when it comes to Android modding, I use my PC. Uh, anyways, um, so as you can see, we've got uh, you know Canada, Rogers, Telus, Bell Mobility. Um, we've all got the Android 4.4.2 KitKat ready to download. So you can go ahead and tap on anyone you want. For my particular circumstance, I'm gonna be clicking on Bell Mobile. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and wait for that to finish loading up. There it is. Uh, so what you can go ahead and do right now is just simply click on download, unless of course you feel like paying their premium price, which in my opinion, if you ask me, is a little bit too much for what they're asking. Um, or you can be like me and 90% of their other members and just simply click on download. Though be prepared for a long download of upwards of about an hour. Uh, at least that's how long mine took and it was about 1.5 gigabytes in size. Um, once you've downloaded that, if you haven't already or you don't already have a version of Odin, which is what you're going to need to use in order to flash this firmware to your device, they uh, offer you guys a simple click right here. So Odin version 3.09. I'm still using version 3.07. You could be using an older version as well it's not a huge deal um, some people do prefer to stay up to date I don't really care because it does the same thing but anyways so you go ahead and download Odin if you haven't already and install it uh, once you've done that so now that you've got both the file and Odin installed I'm gonna go ahead and continue assuming that you have those two files installed so I went ahead and just created a simple folder on my desktop so it's easy for me to find called Galaxy S4 4.4.2 stock firmware uh, you guys can name it whatever you want um, once you've created this folder or you have found this particular file this is the file that you basically just downloaded so let me go ahead and actually expand the name here so there you go um, and then once you've got that, I'm assuming also that you guys either have WinRAR or WinZip installed. If you do, go ahead and right click on this file and click on extract here. Once you've extracted it, you should come up with this folder right here. That's what it should uh, be extracted. Um, so go ahead and double tap on that. And uh, these are the two files that come in that folder. And this is actually the file that we're really going to be using today, which is the tar file in case you guys were wondering. Um, now, once you've got that, we've confirmed that that's all downloaded and ready to go. Uh, you can go ahead and open up Odin. So I just happen to have mine in a handy folder here. As you can see, mine is 3.07. So again, it doesn't really matter 3.07, 3.09, or even older versions because this is fine. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click to open that. It's gonna give you a thing, you know, give me some permission. I'm gonna say, yes, you have my permission. And this is what yours should look like. It might look slightly different, but what we're really looking for here is this box here that says PDA. Uh, if you have the newest version, it might see some, say something like a, V or AC, or I can't remember, AV slash PDA or something like that. As long as you see a box in here that says PDA, then we're fine. Uh, now that once we've gotten this open, we can go ahead and grab your Samsung Galaxy S4 and you're actually gonna wanna make sure that it's powered off. Once it's powered off, we wanna boot into download mode. So in order to do that simultaneously, what you're gonna do is press and hold the volume down, home button, and then power button. And we're gonna give that a few seconds and we'll notice it'll vibrate once and then this is the screen that you're presented with. So uh, volume up to continue, you're gonna go ahead and press volume up to continue and we're now in download mode. At which point you can plug in your Samsung Galaxy S4 to your PC via obviously your micro USB to USB cable, all right? Now you'll notice that down here in the message box it says added. So uh, my computer or Odin more specifically has recognized that I've plugged in my uh, device. Uh, at that point you can go ahead back down to the PDA button that I was so adamant about making sure that you have and go ahead and click on that and it'll open up this sort of search window. I just go ahead and navigate to whatever folder or wherever it is that you actually have that file, that extracted 
tar file uh, located. So I already have mine queued up, ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight it and then simply click on open. Uh, now, you're gonna have to excuse me, I'm gonna cut this video right now because again, my computer is extremely slow uh, and it does take a little bit for these files to load up in Odom for me, though 99.9% .9 of you guys out there, this will probably load up instantly. So give me a second, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's all loaded up, ready to go. Again, that took me about five minutes, though you guys, it'll probably take about a half a second. Uh, anyways, now we're ready to go. So at this point, it's literally as simple as clicking start. And you'll notice right away things start to happen, things up here happening, it's flashing, all kinds of fancy stuff. Um, this in particular will take everybody, I don't care how fast your computer is, it'll take everybody a little bit of time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now and we'll be right back as soon as it's done flashing. Alrighty, and it's actually done flashing now. As you can see, it's saying reset and removed. And as you can see on the device itself, it's actually starting to um, have this little sort of updating uh, bar going across the bottom there. This is actually a safe time to go ahead and just simply unplug your device from your PC. And um, you'll notice here that eventually we'll get in, um, it'll, it'll finish booting up. Though the first boot will take a while and shortly after this screen, you'll notice it says like optimizing applications and so on. Um, but anyways guys, um, just to prove that it has successfully updated to Android 4.4.2, we'll go ahead and cut the video one more time. We'll be right back uh, at the devices about screen. Alrighty, and as you can see, we are running Android 4.4.2 KitKat, and of course, you know, proof is in the pudding, so we'll jump into the settings page down to about device, and you'll notice right there, Android 4.4.2, and just like everybody else always loves to do whenever they're doing their silly videos on uh, proving that they have Android 4.4.2 KitKat, there it is, so there you go. Anyways guys, that is it. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel, hey, maybe subscribe for more videos in the future. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. This video is sponsored by unlockthatphone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier worldwide. Visit unlockthatphone.com for more information.